Oh yeah, I like the looks of that. A lot of crappie in here. Going in. Boy, this is out of the wind too. This would be nice. Wow. Getting into them here. 22 feet deep. Yes, sir. Ooh, look at them on the down imaging. I think we found some fish. All right, we're in some fish here, folks. Get baited up. Ooh, that sun feels good, I can tell you that. A little bit chilly this morning 42 degrees air temperature this is the worst part of spider rigging getting everything baited up but that's just part of it man there are there are crappie all over this cove they're thick. I need to get with them. Woo -wee. All those fish out there 50 feet out. We're going to go to them. See if we can catch a few of them. Now my baits will be right in here. That's that's one of my baits right there. About this 10 to 12 mark, depending on if I'm moving or sitting still. Of course, if I'm moving, it pulls them back a little bit. Those fish look like, wow, they're anywhere from the surface to the bottom. So I just put these out with my weight down about 10 feet deep. Let's just see what we can do here. Ooh, they are coming in now. Just draw that distance down to about 30 feet. Oh, I'm all over the fish. We just need them to bite. There's one. Oh, there's two. Yep, there's one. Didn't take long. A little black crappie. It's what we've been catching all winter. Yes, sir. Nice little black crappie. I'm not going to keep that one. I'm going to catch a little bit bigger one, I think. I am going to keep some fish today. I think I can catch a little better fish than that. As many fish as there are down there. Wow. Look at that screen. Good lordy. I may drop some baits down a little deeper. It looks like some of the better fish may be a little deeper. fish yep oh, it's going to be fast and furious today i'm afraid i'm not afraid of it happy about it it's a nice little keeper fish there i'm gonna put that on the box We're in the box That one was on a man a little higher. They, they active fish may be up in the column. Wow.
Good Lord, look at that screen. Those fish are up. Let's bring it up. Yep. <laughs> Brought it up and got it. Another little one. They're keepers, but. Yep. I won't have my hands full today. Oh, that's a nice crappie there. Yes, sir. That's what we're talking about. Look at that one, folks. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a deal here. That's why. That's why I'm only running four rods today, folks. Put that one down. Wow. It's going to be a slug fest. Going to be a slug fest in here. All right. Well, that one's small. I'm not going to keep it. Now, this one, that's a good fish right there. I'll be keeping it. All right, I got a rod about to fall out of the boat. Gonna be hard to keep them baited. I'm just gonna put it back. I think they're so thick, they're not gonna be that discriminatory. Let's rebait this one. That's why I wanted to come spider rigging today. I knew if I get on these fish like I've been seeing this winter, it'd be more than I could handle. It's fun. Oh, boy, I didn't even get that one back in the water hardly. Oh yeah. Didn't even hardly get that one back in the water. Oh. Wow, come here, come here little fish. That's a good 10 inch fish. I started to bring a cooler and just set it behind me. And at the last minute I didn't do it, I should have. Now I wouldn't have had to go back to the live well so much. Who may have just go down to two rods. Oh, he, it's going to warm up quick doing this. Wow, look at that up there. Those fish are anywhere from two feet down to eight feet. They're up higher in the water column. Bring these baits up. There's one. There's one. Oh, look at there. Two of them. Two at a time. I like it. I like it. Nice little 10 inch crappie. That one was a little smaller. I'm not going to keep it. This one's a good keeper fish here. Folks, I'm just using the Double minnow rig, I got a half ounce weight. It's the Captain Coleman style rig. You can buy them pre-made at B&M poles or you can uh, get them at Grizzly Jig. Other places, or you can make them yourself. I've got a video on how I make these. I make them myself for the most part. using my 16 foot 
BGJP poles, BNM 100 Pro 100 series reel. I've got 10 pound K9 high vis line on the reel, and my rig is made up of 8 pound clear K9 line. So I'm just rigging a couple of minnows on here, putting them out. There's fish. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see how bad I can get all these tangled up. Yep. A couple more. I'm gonna throw this one back. Keep this one. Whew. I gotta come out of this jacket now. It's warming up and the action is getting warmer. Nope. There was a fish. Oh, I don't have enough hands. Got a fish on this one. Yep. Oh, that's a good fish, I think. Yeah, that's a nice little fish. Yes, indeed. Dandy black crappie. Yes, sir. I'll have to get some pliers. All right. In the box. Well, look out there. There's fish. Oh, yep. Two at a time. Two at a time. I like it. <laughs> That's fun. Woo wee. Those are nice dandies, too. Put both of these in the box. Folks, get you some spider rigging gear. It's fun. It's just fun. Ooh, look out there. Let me get this pole baited up. We'll go over there and get right in the midst of that other school. Man, this is fun. Sure wish you were with me. You could help me. I need the help. All right, let's go over this way. Where are those fish? Move my distance out to about 50 feet. Where are they? There they are. There they are. See that? I'm gonna go right over there. It's 50 feet out. distance back down. I got them in range. Bring it down to about 30 feet. See them a little better. All right, 12 feet is where my baits are. Come on, fish. I know you're all around my little minners. I feel him. I got my hands on my rod holders and so I can feel those fish when they hit that bait. These rods are sensitive enough. Comes up through that line, through that rod, and I can feel it right here on my hand. Where'd they go? Right out that way. Keep them in that 12 foot range. 
these fish are yeah, a little deeper. Hit the old spot lock. Man, come off of there. I'm gonna put it in the box. Just trying to get a limit. They're not big, but they're good eaters. Yep. This fish is deeper. Deeper. Another nice little black crappie. Come here. Come to me. Man. Well, you get them right in the top of the mouth. They're hooked. I'm just using a number two. I've got some number two Mustad light wire hooks, and I've also got some uh, number two gold true turn hooks. There we go. There they are. The wind's gonna blow me right into those babies. Now I get there, I'll put my power down. I got my paddles on, and that'll slow me down. I got the wind behind me. Now, there they are. Come on, wind. Put my paddle down. There they are. Yeah. There they are. Live oak does not lie. Nice keeper fish. distance down a little bit. We know where they are. Man, we are all over the crappie. Come on and bite me. Come on and bite me. He knocked the fire out of it. I think it's getting ready to get ugly right here. Yeah, I got one there. He's just gonna have to wait. Pulling me down. All right. Yep. Boy, these are dandy little keeper fish right here. I mean, let's measure that fish, just see how long he is. He doesn't look very big, but... Let's just see. Yeah, about what I thought. Nine and about nine and a half, nine and three quarter inch fish. Nice little keepers, but I'm not keeping him. Yep, that's what I thought. You ever hear that saying that a busy spider rigger is a successful spider rigger? You know what that means. The busier you are keeping these uh, baited with fresh bait, the more successful you'll be. So the busier you are, the more successful you'll be. Just like that. See, I just put fresh bait on that. Boy, we're in little ones now. We're in the little ones.
So even though you've got bait on, you get good fresh bait on there, you'll catch more fish. Another nine inch or boy, there's a lot of these in there. There we go. If I was in a tournament, every time I pull one of these rods out and took a fish off, I'd put two fresh minnows on there. But since I'm not in a tournament and I'm just fun fishing, I'm not. But I'm going to put that one in the box. That's a nice little fish. Got fish on. Fish on. Yep. Hit the old spot lock. There's a little white crappie. What do you know? Oh, come here. If I can get it in. Well, I've never done this before. A nice little white crappie, same size. I just want to catch some bigger ones. Yep, well, that's not a bad little fish. <laughs> Can't get to him because I got one over here. Another little one. Well, yep. These are keeper fish, but I'm not keeping them that little. Should, probably. Let's see what this one's like. Uh-oh. I let him mess around getting that other rod, didn't I? Yeah, that's a nice fish. I'll put him on the stringer. Yes, sir. Why not? Let's see. Yep, that's a little over 10 inches. I'll keep a 10 inch fish when I'm trying to keep fish for a mess. I'd fit two fish on, got a rod in my hand and two rods in the water. Three rod, all three of them. All three of them. They're just going to have to hang on. Hang on, fishes. Got into the 16 feet of water. These fish are coming up. To Sun himself, I think, getting a little shallower. Let's see what all we got. Well, that one got away. Imagine that. Yep. Yeah. Here's a nice one. We'll put him in the box. Come here. Let's put that one in the box. Yep. Oh, yeah. That one feels a little better. Maybe there's some better fish up in here a little shallower. Dandy there. Dandy little crappie there. you get on there. Yeah, it's nice. Got the power pole down. The wind's just barely behind me, pushing me along real slow. Moving on up in the back here. See, see if we find any better fish. That one was a little better. 
All right, we're coming up on them now. There's one. There we go. There's one like all the rest we've been catching. Nice little fish. Oh yeah. There's a little better one. It's a little better one. Better of the size class we've been catching. Thick. Will look good in the frying pan. I see them. You see them? I see them. I'm going to them too. Come on, should be getting bit. All over the crappies. white crappie. We're getting into more whites. Dandy little fish. I'm going to tell you, looks to me like some fish really shallow. I'm gonna put some rods really shallow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what brought up just like two, three feet deep. There's fish all the way from the surface to 22 feet deep. Nice. Boy, how many of those? Got another one on here. Another one of those real shallow ones. How many 10 inch crappie you think we've caught today? I can tell you, a bunch. A bunch. These fish are getting shallower and I'm gonna, the active fish, I'm gonna go shallower and catch some of them. Unfortunately, they all look alike. Dang it. Look there. Yep. Yeah, that's a pretty decent little fish right there. Up shallow. I don't know if you all can see that or not, but I don't have that. I've got that swivel maybe a foot out of the water or in the water. Dandy, dandy little fish. Oh yeah. So, just do them all that way. Man, yep, he's there. These fish have come up. They're liking this sunshine. They are liking this sunshine. Good, he got off. Look just like all the rest. There he is. Ah, dummy. You old big dummy. There we go. Look there, I got a fish on. Can you see that? I mean, that's not, I'm, that's how deep I'm fishing. All right, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, oh yeah. Nice fish. 
these fish are coming up to the surface and getting active. A little better fish. I put that one on the old stringer. Up. Gotta get this one first. <laughs> oh, look at there. You think they're coming up shallow? I do. I think they're coming up shallow. You know, it's fun to catch these fish. I'm gonna put that one on. It's a nice little fish right there too. But I'm gonna wait on a little bigger. About to run out of hooks on my stringer. All right. Man, oh man, folks, I'm telling you, if you can get down here, it's a great time of the year to spider rig. These fish get shallow and they get grouped up. Look at that. I mean, man, oh man. I could have been out of here a long time ago with a limit of fish. But I didn't want to quit. We figured out where they are, that's for sure. They're about two feet deep, three feet maybe. Let's get out of here at 50 feet, see where they are. There they are. We're right there. We're headed to them. We're going, going into the wind. So I'm gonna pull up in the middle of these fish. I'm gonna hit my spot lock. We're just gonna sit here and fish them till the school moves off. Okay, we're getting closer. I'll bring the distance in a little bit. Just hit the spot lock. We're still on them. Yep. They're not afraid of that spot lock. Dandy. Yep. Okay, folks, I'll tell you what. This is, uh, it's been a great day. I've caught a ton of fish. It's only, it's not even 11 o'clock yet. I don't know how many fish I've caught. None of them are big, but there's some good eaters in there, some 10, 10 and a half inch fish. I'm gonna put the spider rigs up and I'm gonna get my little cork out. Just have some fun with a cork, I think. I bet you can sit here, put a minnow on that cork with a jig head, throw it out there and they'll just tear it up. We're gonna find out. Caught a ton of fish spider rigging. I'm gonna put them up and get a cork out, see if we can catch a few corking. <laughs>